The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Who New Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. So I have the report right here, Dana, and you can see just by the thickness of it, uh, it's well over 500 pages, uh, and it really represents uh, the work of dozens of investigators by the Inspector General over an 18-month period. But based on what we've read so far, uh, the episode that really seems to get a lot of attention is October of 2016 and the discovery of Clinton emails on a laptop computer that was being shared by Clinton aide Huma Abedin and her husband, Anthony Weiner. And if you can just bear with me, I want to go through kind of the TikTok, the calendar here, because the dates are very important. What the inspector general found is that the FBI in New York City, as part of a separate investigation, had identified over 300,000 emails on the Abedin Wiener computer by September 26th of 2016. And within hours of that discovery, they had also identified emails with the ClintonEmail.com domain, and they immediately notified FBI headquarters here in Washington, D.C. Shortly after that, on September 28th, they had what's called an SVTC, so a secure video teleconference call with executives here in Washington. And on that call was the deputy director, Andrew McCabe, along with about 39 other FBI executives where they were briefed by the FBI in New York on the findings of the computer. Fast forward a couple of days, and there's a very curious episode that's documented by the Inspector General, and it's an exchange between McCabe and his boss, FBI Director James Comey, about these emails. And it states here that Director Comey at that time was in fact not clear that Huma Abedin was married to Anthony Weiner and the suggestion is that he didn't understand the significance immediately of the discovery and their conversation about the discovery of the emails is described as kind of a, a flyby in the hallway like they passed each other in the hallway and he said hey they found a, you know several hundred thousand emails on this laptop uh, computer the inspector general interviewed all of the people involved in this episode and there were four main explanations that were given as to why there was an immediate action on these emails the first was that the Clinton email investigative team was waiting for more information about the emails. The second is that they needed additional legal authorities to review the emails. The third is that the FBI Clinton email team didn't believe the emails would be that significant. And number four, some of the people on the email team had been shifted over to the Russia investigation that had been opened at the end of July in 2016. And this is the key phrase, the Inspector General states, we found these explanations to be unpersuasive justifications for not acting sooner, given the FBI leadership's conclusion about the importance of the information and the FBI mid-year team. Fast forward to last month, and the Inspector General found that very important text message between FBI agent Peter Strzok and FBI lawyer Lisa Page where in the exchange they basically say, we're going to stop Trump. So that's a very active thing. We're going to take steps to prevent him from becoming president. And what the inspector general found, and I'm quoting here again, is that under these circumstances, we did not have confidence that Strzok's decision to pri prioritize the Russia investigation over following up on the mid-year related investigative lead discovered on the Wiener laptop, so these are the hundreds of thousands of new emails, was free from bias. This is the one episode in the Inspector General's report where they felt political bias was at play. Prior to July 5th and Director Comey's public statement about the Clinton emails, they could not find documented evidence of political bias. So this is why the section about the Abedin Wiener laptop and the hundreds of thousands of emails that were there, including emails that were classified that were from the Clinton system, that's why it gets so much attention in the Inspector General's report. Mm -hmm. Because to state the obvious, it was this finding that caused Director Comey to notify Congress with a letter that he was reopening the criminal investigation right. about 10 days before the election. Then they quickly closed it. 
and Democrats blame Director Comey yeah. for basically desyncing the Clinton campaign and sort of derailing her momentum uh, at that point, Dana. Right. All right, Catherine, thank you so much. We appreciate that. We'll check back You're in welcome. with you. Tax the rich, feed the poor, Hey everybody, welcome to Pod Talk. I'm Jimmy Bell. I'm Paul Daniels. And I'm Jeremy Gibbs. Sound guy. Yes. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, you gotta see how... I wish I could show you how close my face is to the computer right now because of these stupid air buds. So close you can feel the breeze off of the fans. Yes, yes. I'm actually that getting short? static from it. That's Oh god damn, yeah, I'm like leaning I'm leaning in. I'm leaning in. What on earth am I hearing right, on your side? Uh, I swear it sounds like an animal's howling. Oh, that's the neighbor. It's gonna shut the door, Jimmy. The the, the uh, you you're pretty close to right when you say animals. <laughs> <laughs> MS-13. Oh, no, I'm not shitting you. You got MS-13 living next door, do you? It, no, we just have a bunch of fucking trailer, white trailer trash living next door. Ah. Eh, shit happens. Are you still, are you still picking them up? Yeah. Yeah. It's their <laughs> kids, though. It's just their kids out in the yard. Their kids being kids. I, I can still hear it coming through the window, Jimmy. You're going to have to shut the window. It's going to get hot in here. I, I, do you know what? It's only for a fucking hour. Now 58 minutes. Well, that right, one hour is long enough to keep it yeah. hot all night. It, it, yeah, well, it's not actually that hot up here, so. All right, second time. Let's get back on subject. So right. what do you think of that report there, Jimmy? I thought it was pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. I thought it was amazing the way that this. I I, I think it's amazing the way that, that that it's. Nobody's like totally enraged about two FBI agents conspiring. Uh, exactly to con, cons, to undermine a campaign and a presidential it, candidate. It, yeah, a presidential election. It it, it just blew. It, it's just right. mind boggling. Um. Okay, I just lost you guys completely. Uh, oh, there I go. I can hear you now. I lost you for a few seconds. There were sound like you guys were talking, but all I heard was buzzing noise. Anyway, it's not on our end, brother. Uh, to me, that that report sounded like a clever way of covering it up and getting people out of shit. It just. Uh, you yeah, know, it's everyone kissing each other's ass. Basically, it's like move along, move along. There's nothing to see here, and they're just going to nail all the lower uh, level people and let the higher ups, the most corrupt individuals out of that entire group, go. Yep, yep. The 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 the, the, the subordinates are going to be the fall guys. Yeah, and in other words, that means they're going to try to stop us from prosecuting Hillary Clinton yet again. Well, that was the plan all along. Of course. I mean, let's face it, the, it, it, it was in the bag already. Yeah, I, I was wondering how many of those like, people know, in this report were on the list to commit suicide. Yeah, upcoming suicide. Yeah. I want to apologize due to my pending suicide. It was scheduled for Wednesday, but... It Wednesday. is now delayed. <laughs> no, oh, wait. We we had a cancellation. We can get you in on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's that's sad. That report basically. I mean, it said there was screw ups and errors and judgment and blah 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 blah. But I guarantee you, the only people who really take the fall on this are probably Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, and uh, let's see, where's the other guy here? Um. Oh crap! I for, no, not call me Andrew McCabe. Oh, McCabe! <coughs> McCabe's gonna um, flip. Yeah, he's gonna roll. I, I got a feeling he's. Oh, 
I, employee. Uh, it'll come at a high price. His life, probably. Yeah, yeah. No, I, get shot I in the head. See, and... see, they don't do that shit anymore. They got too <laughs> many um, cameras, too many microphones. Well, you got to remember one of Hillary Clinton's fired. top aides committed suicide by shooting himself not once, but twice in the back of the head because the first bullet apparently didn't kill him and it didn't knock him out, so he took a second shot to make sure it worked. <laughs> yeah, and this was, it didn't what, even throw the gun ago, out of his hand. Three years ago when that happened? You think that the gun would be, like... Yeah, what was his name? Uh, the young kid there. I will look that <laughs> up, but he, he was found dead, I believe, on a park bench with two... Uh, Bullet wounds to the back of the head in an apparent suicide. <laughs> no, you're thinking of Vince Foster. Yeah, that, that could be. You, you're thinking of Vince Foster, the the one that, that happened like lawyer. two years ago. Um, he was walking name? down the street, and he was. They they said it was a robbery at first, but nothing had been taken from him. Right. And he, <clears> he just happened to be um, one of Hillary's people. That they were trying to get to flip. Mm -hmm. I but, forget his name, though. I, see, I wonder if they're going to protect uh, McCabe from being assassinated by him? McCabe. I wonder if they're going to protect him from being assassinated by one of Hillary's goons. Because you know <laughs> they'll that tell him, yeah. The Hillary, the Clintons don't have the power you think they got anymore. Nobody <laughs> to do with them. They know they still got reach, brother. No, they're in the process of being vagabonds. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Jim, they've got so much shit on other people. They oh, yeah. still wield a lot of no, power. They don't. They'd use it. Well, what do you think that uh, they they got Bill Clinton shit on Trump? They dumped it all. And what it do was, you think he, that uh, nothing? Teflon Don. But that doesn't mean that they don't have the reach. They don't be all the past. Well, that's what I'm saying. Why would they add They got to all it? kinds of people that would fund it and help them do it. I mean, there of course, was, no, they don't. George they Soros? Don't the power oh, Soros wouldn't do it? Soros, They're fucking married into the Soros family. Soros ain't giving her any money anymore. His nephew is married to Chelsea. Whatever. He ain't going to give nothing to Hillary. Yeah. Yeah, they will. She's okay. still a part of if the little make boys him network. Look good, like it or or if it'll push his agenda, he'll have somebody fucking killed for her. It wouldn't. It wouldn't shock me a bit. That's right. And you know, I think that may be nah, what happened on that uh, tarmac between um, Bill Clinton and uh, Loretta Lynch. Lynch. I think yeah. he basically went in there and said, "If you love your grandchildren, you'll uh, you'll support us." I and think God they, only, just imagine. I think they threatened they to kill her or her grandchildren. Like, yeah, I know. We'll never know. No, we'll never know. But I, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall for that one. Because you know that's deep shit. That's deep state. You know shit. Bill's gonna do it on his dying breath, and I'll guarantee you he's gonna lie about it. And he'll fucking lie right to the bitter end. He wouldn't know the truth if it fucking yeah, slapped exactly. him in the face. No, he wouldn't. Yeah. You're he, talking a man who says, oh, I'm not into child porn or being a pedophile or anything like that, but yet he took, right, uh, yeah, what he was it, 26 what, trips on the Lolita Island. Express? <laughs> yeah, the <to> pedophile island. <laughs> yeah, from Jeffrey Epstein's private plane. Yeah, yeah. It, it, and that's nothing talked about in the fucking media. If that no. had been a Republican... Holy fuck. That's all you would be hearing. No, and yeah, you notice... Of course. They've been something... talking... Sorry, go ahead. Okay. No, no, and... go ahead. Go ahead, Jerry. Anyway, what I was getting ready to say, you notice, even though this seems to be mainstream, but yet yeah, it's not being talked about in the news, is the Russia investigation. You notice how that's kind of dropped out of the news? Well, because there is nothing. Yeah. But the investigation is they already going. concluded. They beat that horse to death. They already concluded there was no collusion. I mean, they, they did that months ago, didn't they? 
Didn't yeah, they, didn't and, they, um, yeah, and they're DG threatening. Did a report and say there was none? Yeah, and they're threatening to force Trump to testify. They are threatening to Good force luck. Trump to testify. Giuliani's not going to let him testify. No, not open testimony. They have zero, none. Well, the they idea is, is from the Robert Mueller's team, they believe that if they could get Trump to testify, he will say something contradictory, and that will give them what they need to uh, impeach him or yeah, jail him, right, whatever the, the case. Yes. Right. Yeah. Be, do you know why? Could could anyone go before that kind of pressure and not contradict yourself at one point or another? Right. Right. And plus, they're trained to fuck you up. Yeah, they ask you the same question seven different ways, and when and you don't when you answer it the answer. same way as the last, six, mm -hmm. it, it's pathetic. That's exactly what happens. It's, they're trained that way. The, hell, the police are trained that way. Yeah. Right. They're trained to trap people. If that ain't entrapment, I don't know what is. Yeah. Do you know what Trump should do? Just walk in and do like Lois Lerner did. I'm not guilty. Fifth, I'm, I'm pleading the fifth. I'm pleading the fifth. I'm pleading the fifth. I'm pleading the fifth. Yeah. They were they all allowed to Lois, do that to a point. And she sure. was only a piece of sh All of them yeah. are. And she was allowed to make a statement before she claimed she wasn't guilty. The funny thing is, is this this goes much, much deeper than people realize. This goes back before Trump even announced his uh, candidacy. I mean, a lot of this actually started back uh, with uh, the Bundy Ranch, I believe, in Nevada. Senator Harry Reid, yep. I mean, we've talked about this before. What, Senator Harry Reid had a solar project with the Chinese that he needed land for. Hillary Clinton needed uranium that was on that land to sell to the Russians because she just made a deal to sell 20% of our U.S. Uh, uranium to the Russians. And then it happened again on the Hammond Ranch where they t tried to shut them down, claiming environmental issues because they were creating ponds or illegal burning or some shit like that. Yeah, some stupid thing. And the both what both of these areas of land had in common is uranium deposits. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that coincidental? And then the uranium ones came <laughs> on. Then they, then they, uh, the Clintons uh, built, uh, what was it, uh, I'm trying to think, it was country in Africa. Oh my God, I forgot the name of it. It was right on the tip of my tongue, where they basically laundered a bunch of money that they took from them for charity, or took for them for charity, and then paid for uh, Chelsea's wedding with it. That was Haiti. That's not Africa. Oh, that's not Africa. How? Huh? No, remember. Haiti's in the. Hades I'm geographically on the of challenged. Hispaniola. It's oh, on yeah. the same island as um the uh, Dominican Republic. Santa Domingo. Santa, no, it has Santa been, Domingo. No, Hispaniola is the name of the island. Island, yeah. <coughs> and, yeah. One half and, Santa and the Dominican Domingo. Republic and I, I, I'm Dominican geographically Republic challenged. <laughs> Trust me on that one. I know. It's Santa Domingo. I know that's what they... That might be the capital the of the Dominican Republic. No, that's what they call yeah. them, Santa Dominicans. What? They didn't call them Dominicans. I've, I've never heard of a Santa Dominicans mass. There ain't a single one of them there. It's Dominican Republic. Trust me. Trust me. It's the Dominican Republic on the other yeah, side. Yeah, it's like that long lost tribe Dominican they found Republic. in Africa. The only uh, Their name was, where the fuck are we? Yeah, yeah, the the lost tribe. <laughs> F troop. Yep, the the, the Akawis. Yeah, where the fuck are we? <laughs> but yeah, I think this damn report that came out. Yeah, is but that was Haiti. Yeah, I think this report's going to lead to a whole hell of a lot of nothing but a bunch of low level people losing their jobs and going to prison. And as usual, like I said earlier, the most corrupt individuals in the whole fucking mess are going to get away with it.
Of course, it, that's how it always goes. McCabe will get his retirement, so yep. won't call me. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they, it, it only shows the rest of them that are going to take their place. Nothing happens when you're fucking corrupt. You I think I'll be want. corrupt, too. But there, you, you might know, as well. You're going to get away with this. Yeah. There is one more option. The uh, the people can actually charge her and take her to trial. I can't remember the exact steps to do this. It's like a citizen's grand jury or some shit like that. I'll have to we'll see if I can find that real quick. But basically, hey, if we want to... Do you think... I no. think that would yeah. go through. They would never allow it. They'd laugh in our faces. They'd laugh in our faces. Yeah. But yeah, but that would show them laughing to the American faces. You yeah, but I mean? they do it now. I know, and like I said, that's why they're not getting in. D and that's Look at good. All the primaries with Trump candidates won, uh, and I, I I agree. That's the only way. The only way without armed insurrection to take these fuckers out. The only way to do it is in the ballot box. Right, and, and it's sad. It, not that I'm saying go out and shoot people. Support a candidate. Right. going to turn into what? McCain's. Well, you got to think about it. Oh, if one of us point. had done what these people have done, we'd be in prison the rest of our lives. No, no, we'd be executed. Yeah, these people are. We'd be serve executed a under federal law. Nope. No, they're going to be rewarded with pensions. Mm -hmm. Pensions paid by the taxpayer. Yeah, by the people they fucked over. Good work. Good work, Sessions, you grinny-looking motherfucker. I would love to slap him so well, hard. I, I've said fucking wire-rimmed glasses. I have Sorry, said it before, and I swear I knew this guy was going to do one of two things. Either find a way to get Clinton out of it. Or he was going to hold it off until the statute of limitations ran out. It, well, you, you you called that one. He he's a fucking coward. He's a fucking coward. He's part of the swamp. Yeah, and he should be fired. I mean, honestly, I think Trump should fire him. But you know that's why probably, is he still there? That's Trump's probably, fired everyone else. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen because they'll go, oh my God, he fired him because he's trying to cover something up. Russian collusion, Russian collusion. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can't, you can't win on either side of the fucking coin. Wasted millions and millions of dollars of taxpayer money to tell us that they're not going to arrest the people who fucked us over. The, the people responsible, yeah. They're going to go after some underlings. Yeah. And then they're going to put out a false report that says, yeah, these guys are guilty, they did it, and blah, 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 blah. Miss Clinton was just a patsy, blah, 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 blah. Who are they going to get to investigate? I have no idea. Yeah, well, <clears throat> she was... Go ahead. It's, it's all going to come down to, well, they were irresponsible with government secrets are to they foreign freaking agents? saying she's stupid? I mean, are, she she was Secretary of State. Are they saying she was stupid to realize that the material on her computer was classified, or she was too stupid to realize right, that her computers in, were unsecure? She's been in politics long enough. I mean, are they you went to the point of kidding saying me? She was an attorney. She, she knows better. Yeah, they went as far to say that she didn't recognize the C on the document meant classified. They actually went that far. <laughs> wow. What did you think the C meant? I mean, I <coughs> know a few oh. C words. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I should say that on no, the show. No, you can, because you were talking about Hillary Clinton. Okay. Joe said we could do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm the one that came up with that role, but that's fine. <laughs> Calling Hillary a cunt, and that's acceptable. Yep, and I will refrain from using that word because I'm saving it up for Friday. <laughs> <laughs> saving it up for Friday. 
Yeah, just, oh my yep. God, this, this country's in so much fucking trouble. Even with Trump in office, our chances of pulling this bullshit out is going to be slim. No, we got, we got good chance. Cause we got, I, 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 I'm with you, Jeremy. I we see keep slim the house in which well, is a better deal. But who are these people yeah, that are going to fill them? We're only going to have Trump for eight that, years uh, at most. In the primaries, he put them in. There. I understand that, they're but they're all set up to win. It's just a matter of winning. But but the thing is, right? Um, Paul Ryan, he was supported by the Tea Party. They loved him, and he turned out to be a fucking John McCain. Right. Well, uh, yeah, he backs. There's a lot of McCains throughout the histories. No, but I'm just saying that these guys that Paul are running. Paul Ryan, he's another one. Uh, Rand Paul. Rand Paul. Yeah, that's all right. I, I've done that before. Um, but th- these guys, um, the Trumps, uh, 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 more swamp creatures when they get in? Well, like I said, well, I don't know. I'm hoping that Trump did some background on them. I, I would hope so. Like they would do well, any other but, but, but political here's another thing. candidate. Here's another thing. I just want to get this out real quick. I, I hate to keep interrupting. No, go ahead. But <clears throat> these people come in. Right? With great intentions. And they become a part of the swamp instantly. They become right. corrupt. Yeah, so course, let's just say these guys are financially viable. The they see opportunity for more that, money and more power. Bet them better. You know what I mean? Like Trump says. Yeah. The, the, exactly. They come in nice guys and then they turn into poor Ryan. Rhinos. They're not so, idiots. Like, they're, they're lining their pockets. Like I was saying earlier, we only got Trump at most for eight years total. When he's out, what are we going to be left with? Is there going to be another Trump, figuratively speaking, to run for office? Uh, do you know yes, what the, and Trump's I bet you there'll be a lot of them. I, I, I think that's, I agree with Jimmy on that one. If Trump yeah. is as, as successful as I think he's going to be... Which he is. There's going to be a bunch of Trumps waiting in the wings. Well, I, this is what I predict. <laughs> and I hope yeah. somebody takes over. And... Actually, a brothel. I don't expect... This is what I predict. Yeah, I do not expect this person I'm about to mention... From one hand to one other. Yeah. I do not expect this person I'm about to mention to actually win the presidency, but I expect... Ivanka Trump to run at the end of his eight years. See, that's what I figured. But no, uh, I don't want let her. Pence run. She'll I'm not saying she'll yeah, win, I don't want her to but run I, I would expect her to run. I would well, between expect her it. and Donald Jr., one of them's going to run. I don't want any other Trumps to run after this. I do. Why? I, I don't. Want to keep going. I don't want fucking, I don't want dynasties. Uh, I, I if just, it's to keep with the pe- state of... Again? No, no. I want somebody else that believes like Trump, that hasn't been in that position, to become the next Trump, the next businessman, right. an like outsider. That, basically, Ivanka qualifies. Don <laughs> yes. Jr. qualifies. They are now insiders. I don't want that. I don't. I didn't want to no, push you dynasty. You want it better. You want to creep in and fucking grab a hold, like you know. Tentacles. Yeah, I don't. I don't want dynasties. I don't like it. It sounds well, too much like royalty. Unfortunately, no, it, like it will probably happen. No, it's way. not a football game. I don't fucking well, the want. The Bushes wa- was a stupid dynasty, and that's why they. Real. I, all right. You know, when, you know when it it's... comes down to Eric running, first of all, she is. First of it. all, she's not as fucking conservative as her father. No, she ain't. That's why she might make it better <laughs> than her father. I don't even get that. I don't even get what you just said. He's she's not as conservative as her father, so she'd be better. She'd be more like Hillary. No, better and more votes. Yeah. So what? More votes doesn't mean better person. No, that means you win. That's yeah. a good candidate. Oh what? yeah. Why are you stupid? No, Obama but got a shitload of votes. Votes because he had a good candidate. I well, mean, a it, good candidacy. 
I want the best person, not the best fucking campaigner or the best fucking person that looks good on camera. I want the person that cares about the country. Ivanka Trump is not the person to be president. She's just not. She's not. Uh, well, I, Trump Jr. I don't think uh, she maybe, is the person him. to be president, but I, I would expect a run from her in the future. It wouldn't shock me to see Chelsea Clinton run because the Clintons just can't get enough of losing. And then it wouldn't surprise me to see Hillary yeah, run yeah, again yeah, in 2020. Exactly. <laughs> and they are already working on ways to keep Bernie Sanders from running again in 2020. So that tells you one thing. Hillary is going to run again. Yeah, yeah well, the easy, the, Bernie Sanders, just buy him a new house. It worked last time. Like I said, Bernie's not going to get as many fucking votes as you people think he Oh, gets. yes, he no, will. No, he's not, because he fucking sold out when he went with Hillary. And all the people that were backing him, a lot of them backed off. I'll tell you what. Because he burnt them. He fucking gave in to Hillary. All my friends that are Bernie Sanders supporters are still Bernie Sanders supporters. No. Tried and true. Oh, no, they are. He ain't even going to get close because he's so fucking he's going to pay for it. No, who's yeah, I tell you what, college. if he he's had won the Democratic the nomination, party. there was Freebies a good chance Trump would have won. Yeah, I, I think Bernie would have beat him. I don't think so. I think Bernie would have beat him. No, because he's just as fucking retarded as Hillary. Trump didn't debate fucking Bernie. That's why you're saying he would have won. Wait till he be, you know what I mean? He would have made Bernie look like a moron. But the thing is, Jimmy, his voters are morons. Yeah, but the, the young kids alone's not going to elect you. Hillary you lost. You know what I mean? Hillary lost because the Bernie people turned on her. That's why she lost. She's telling you. Right. That's we uh, said uh, the she, Bernie sold them out. Yeah, she's and blamed him, her loss on everything from and they know uh, it. They're not gonna ignorant white Bernie. women and all kinds of shit. She... She cannot accept the fact that she was defeated. Yeah, she can't do it. She couldn't when Barack Obama beat her in the primary last time. I mean, the first time. Yeah. How many times she did she say what, three times and lost? Uh, no, she's run twice and lost. I thought she ran three times. My bad. Nope. Nope, twice. Once against no, Tom. she didn't run in 2012. Yeah, she ran against Barack Obama. In 2016, eight yes. years apart. Yep. Um, and why are the 50 points ahead, you might say? <laughs> <coughs> oh, do you know why? Because you're a fundamentally unlikable person, and you're a twat. A fucking gigantic twat. Yeah. Uh, right, we got another clip if we want to get off of Hillary. Uh, what's the other clip about, Jim? It's about Robert De Niro. Oh, do you know what? It, it, I, it, where's it from? Greg Gutfeld. Oh, absolutely. You got a Gutfeld clip? Yeah. Yeah, play it. Bring it up. It's actually part of the five. Feld. I think he's This will give me a moment to go get a drink. Yes, me it we Last re night, an elderly confused man <laughs> went missing in New York. Luckily, a band of self-satisfied elitists found him babbling on the street, <laughs> threw some pants on him, gave him a stage. Oh my God. I'm going to say one thing. Trump. It's no longer down with Trump. It's Trump. <laughs> that kills me. Talk about persuasive. Really, I was on the fence about Trump, but then, <laughs> then I decided to really listen to one of the great generational leaders of American pop culture. And the clenched fists at the end, that really drove it home. It looked like he was pressing a two-pound weight in a Jenny Craig commercial. Oh, my God. Look at it again. <laughs> It's so cute. It's like he found out the restaurant serves Jello, or that he won a ten dollars scratch off, or he scored a cameo in Jersey Shore, or he had his first number two in a week. Thank oh. you, Fibercon. Oh, 
What a sad oh end for a great actor. He went from raging bull, raging bull, to this. Look at this guy! Yeah. Am I on drugs? Of course I am. Yeah. But this is still incredible. Flex off history is being made. What's up now, bro? Hey, what's up now, bro? Oh, yeah. Poor Bob. You know, he's like a star whose girlfriend dumps him for a bigger star. A bigger star who's in the White House while you're in Dirty Grandpa. Oh, man. So now the resistance is reduced to applauding tantrums. Who knew De Niro's lasting role would be irrelevant gas bag pleasing irrelevant peers? And he's doing this as Trump organizes a summit. Not a war, a summit. And you got to wonder, if it were President Hillary, mm -hmm. Bob's choice, would you actually have a summit? Or would you have a war? Mm. But forget deeds. What matters is adulation received from an emotional display before a packed sea of millionaire lemmings. So who cares that Trump meets with North Korea? It's no meet the parents. Right, Travis? You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? Sit down. Nobody's talking to you anymore. <laughs> Pathetic old man. All right. He was in Can Before I get to you, uh, let's go to, uh, I think he was in Canada, Toronto, opening a restaurant or doing something. Uh, and this is what he had to say. And I just want to make a note of apology for the idiotic behavior of my president. It's a disgrace. And I apologize to um, Justin Trudeau, too, and the other people at the, uh, the G7. It's disgusting. You know, I actually uh, feel bad for him because I think he's one of those people that has never um, emotionally uh, recovered from 2016. This is a guy who's got serious Trump disorder. Well, and where he was last night and where he was today, he certainly knows his audience. Right? Yeah, so exactly. he's like talented yeah. in that way. But what he doesn't know are the cast and crew that work on his own show. Mm. So he was actually there as part of the the musical that he co-directed is the bronx tale right they his name is on the marquee he gets paid from it they played the music leading up to it he never mentions mm -hmm. the show and this is a show like you know, the, in the times that there's so much competition and the cast and crew of a bronx tale really deserved a lot better i think this was extremely selfish because he didn't you need publicity right and mm -hmm. this was their shot to be able to get a chance to talk uh, to talk about that show which i've seen and i loved it and i think it was extremely selfish that he for he, he didn't for, he forego the opportunity for went the opportunity. How do you say that? Forgo. Forgo the opportunity um, mm -hmm. to talk about these people who need others to come to the show. So we'll do it here. Go see a Bronx tale, even if Robert De Niro doesn't care. Yeah. yeah. So he cheated the Tony honorees. But also, I think he might have helped Trump get reelected. Jen. Welcome back to Pod Ow! Talk, everybody. My fucking knee! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and we re enter the show with, ow, my fucking knee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking. I hit my the knee! The show is going really great at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, everything's going piss up. Yeah, but De Niro is a dick. I, I got no. They, respect for him at all anymore. He, I haven't he, had any respect for him since he, got, since he got busted Pussy. in what, the late 90s for uh, being one of the uh, leaders of a child uh, sex ring of some sort for the elite. Isn't it nice that Robert would take the time out from raping children to lecture us and apologize for Trump in Canada? What a good guy. What a douche. Yeah, I got one thing to say, and that's fuck Robert De Niro. He is a fucking pussy. What a fucking loudmouth fucking pussy giddy. Because he, I can only think of one reason why people like him would speak out against Trump, and that's because they stand to lose something. They stand. Oh no! Do you know why he does something? it? Because they're invited to the cool parties. Because he won't be in the Hollywood. Oh, uh, he anymore. will lose his freedom. Nah, nah, it has nothing to do with his freedom. He wants to be invited 
to all the cool rapist parties. That's what it is. He won't get to go to Pedophile Island no more and rape children. And I'm not even saying allegedly. So fucking sue me, Bobby, you fucking whiny guinea fuck. He's a worthless piece of shit. I can't believe these guys would promote something like that in the first place. You know, that's why you don't see people like Liam Remini on TV anymore. He's so much to lose down, big time. He doesn't care, he's loaded! He doesn't care, he just wants to go to the cool rape parties. Yeah. That's it! Well, that's why you don't see... Biting the hand that feeds Yeah, you don't see people like Leah Remini on there anymore because she stood out against people like Robert De Niro. You don't see Corey Feldman in TV shows or movies anymore because he stood up against people like Robert De Niro. He called out a lot of these pedophiles, and it wouldn't surprise me to see him turn up dead. I mean, they, I I yeah, think they did, want him dead. Did you dead. see? It was an old clip from The View. Mm-mm. Ah. Yeah, they, huh? No, fucking Barbara Walters was still on it. Oh. Uh, and they had Corey Feldman on. And he was talking about the pedophilia in Hollywood. And she was like, you're, you're, um, how'd she phrase it? You're condemning a whole industry? That was her response to him being raped as a child. You're yeah. condemning a whole industry? I can't do the list. <laughs> You're <laughs> a whole industry? A fucking... What a <laughs> hag. What a hag she is. And the only thing worse than her... Tash. <laughs> She's a fucking Looney Tunes character. <laughs> you did that really well. She is Looney. You sounded like an aged to Sylvester. Looney Lefty. <laughs> I've been watching him for a lot of years. Loved his work. Loved it better than De Niro's work. I bet he'd make a great president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least, at least Sylvester. At least Sylvester had range in his acting. De Niro, what did he have? Like I said, De Niro's not in any of my favorite movies. No, he's either a cop or a fucking criminal. You know what I mean? That's I've... it. What was the one with Ray Liotta they played in Joe It was all right. And it wasn't all him. Joe Pesci made that, so did Ray Liotta. Yeah, they were actually the better two. Yeah, and even uh, Paul Sorvino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was great at slicing the fucking garlic. Yeah. (laughs) Like I said, he he played a minor part, basically. Like I said, De Niro plays two things. A fucking cop or a criminal. What fucking range? Oh, actually, he played a comedian in The King of Comedy. But nobody knows the movie. Uh, yeah, I know, because nobody he play, it. Look it up, The King of Comedy. He, didn't he play like a federal agent or a CIA in uh, Meet the Fockers? Cop! He was the CIA agent. Yeah. So what? That's basically a cop. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Yeah, what fucking range? Wow. Love to see him do Shakespeare. Wouldn't you love to see that? <laughs> Al Pacino can do that. Talking to me? Yeah, Al Pacino. Because Al Pacino's got range. range. Yeah, Yeah, he does. He played a faggot bank robber. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, couldn't that be great? Attica. What, Romeo? You looking at me, Romeo? (laughs) You looking at me, Romeo? (laughs) 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 For art thou, you cocksucker. Oh God! That, that reminds me. What was that? Uh, the, the Romeo and Juliet that Leonardo DiCaprio did. I I wouldn't know because I cannot stomach watching his movies. I don't mind them. But name a good one. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> what made my? Point. I can't even name was, any of his movies except for Meet the Bockers and Meet the Parents. No, no. What's all, okay? Uh, no, we're off of De Niro. We're on, um, uh oh, what's his name? Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, we... name a good movie. Uh, who's eating, who's eating Gilbert Grape? No. 
Yeah, that was a great fucking flick. I've never actually seen wow. that. Wow. Um, honestly, I think the, the only one... The only one I've ever watched... Uh, uh, his that I've watched all the way through was Titanic. Oh, never watched it, never, I never will. never watched it either. I know the end! The boat fucking sinks! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I might have seen it because I remember seeing the boat sink. The, the the fucking ending of the movie was written in 1912. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. Now they want to raise it. Well, you know, uh, they think uh, they think that was sunk on purpose, right? Oh, stop it! Why did they around sink the time the Titanic? Purpose. Yeah, why did they smash no. into listen, an iceberg? Listen, around the ti- time of the Titanic, I think J.P. Morgan Chase was working on getting the Federal Reserve started, and all the most powerful people who were against him on that died on the Titanic. We're on the boat. What better way to get it through than to kill off well, all you know your enemies? Well, do you know what we should do? We should have Jesse Ventura look into that. And I'm here at the at the site of the Titanic sinking. And uh, we're going to talk to some of the people. That were... <laughs> Isn't that right, Mean Gene? <laughs> we got a psychic right here. Right? Oh, my God. Yeah, you yeah. actually sound like him. That's sad. <laughs> I don't have time to bleed. <laughs> he's such a... Jesse Ventura. He's a worthless motherfucker He's a lunatic. Himself. He's a fucking literal lunatic. Well... You know he lives in Mexico? No. Because the American government's out to kill him. Isn't that right, mean Gene? <laughs> okay, here... Is one movie I would say was good that actually had Robert De Niro in it. The Godfather. Midnight Express. Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right. Uh, Godfather Two, best sequel of all times. He's not in it. De Niro's not in Godfather. No, it was Al Pacino. You yeah, fucking. Now right here, he's listed as one of the actors in Godfather Part Two. What in he the hell? Had a very minor role because I don't remember. Him. Yeah, I don't remember him in Godfather Two. Exactly, it's Al Pacino. I'm over here. I'm <laughs> over here. <laughs> you talking to me? I'm over he here. He played Vito Corleone in Godfather Two. He beat up who? No, he was in. <laughs> he. He was Vito Corleone. Oh, Vito Corleone? Yes, that's what it says. <laughs> that was my father. That's my father's middle name, Vito. <laughs> I thought Vito... Uh, um, who's the one that died in the boat in the lake that uh, Michael had killed? His brother. Oh, I know who you're talking F. about. He kissed him on the forehead yeah, at the wedding. What was it? Fred... Frederico, Fred. Huh. Who's actually a Spanish dude, I believe. No, his brother. No, in real life. <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know who you're talking about. Uh, uh, he's the one that. Died. He kisses him on the forehead at yeah. the wedding. <laughs> you know, that's the kiss of death. I kissed my father on the forehead. He died fucking four days later. It's not I didn't even reason. kill him. I forget it. You name. son of a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't say I wasn't thinking about it. Right. Wow. Yeah, because I got such a huge inheritance from them. Oh, of course. That's why you have crappy earbuds. Well, it was, it was enough to put. Yeah, yeah. And I live in a footage. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll list. Could be living on I'll list screen. off some oh, of his true. movies here. And most of the ones that I remember him being recognized for are all like from the 70s and 80s. Yeah. Taxi yeah. Driver in 76. I've never seen that one, so I can't tell you if it's good. 
it's it's actually not a bad movie. Not a bad movie. Heat in nineteen ninety five. Not the, it's not one of my favorites. Nah. Yeah. Say that again. Heat in nineteen ninety five. And then... Uh, oh, that sucked! Uh, who did he do that with? Al Pacino yep. again? No. no. It was another it, famous Al Pacino actor. and Robert De Niro were the two main actors in that movie. First movie they were in together. Was, and it was horrendous. What was the name of it? Heat. Heat. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. hoo And then, uh, of course, you know Godfather Part Two, Goodfellas in 1990. Casino yeah, in 1995. Yeah. With Sharon Stone, yeah, Joe Pesci. Uh, poop. Uh, Raging Bull, which I haven't Ouch. seen. Uh, uh, that wasn't a bad movie. Well, Done in black and white. It's, yeah, I know, and it's not my favorite. Not, not, a, not a huge favorite, but I'm just saying not a bad movie. Like I said, I don't mind losing Robert De Niro as somebody I want to see in the movies anymore. And, oh, remember that movie he did with um, Eddie Murphy? Show Cops. Yeah, but they followed him around with the camera. Yeah. What a fucking hunk of garbage. Eddie Murphy was funny in it. De Niro. Yeah. De Niro in it. Now he, uh, let's see what else. I missed a movie here. Oh, The Intern, Cape Fear, The Deer Hunter, and The Family. Oh, yeah, he was in Cape Fear. I've actually been. Uh, Cape Fear, I have actually been to Cape one. Fear, where yeah, that movie was that filmed. Was with Robert Mitchum. Robert Mitchum, yeah. Uh, really? Yeah, that's that's more like a uh, lake Cape and not a, or, a New Jersey, and not a river. Um, North Carolina. North Carolina. Uh, okay. Robert Mitchum did the original. He's a good actor. I loved I Robert like Mitchum. Yeah, he had yeah, sleepy yeah. eyes. Yeah. Always looked like he was fucking looted out. Yeah. Then you mentioned the King of Comedy, which that was 1982. Uh, yeah, with um, Jerry Lewis, um, Sandra Bernhardt. And then... Uh, it was actually a funny movie. He stank in it, but everything else was yeah. funny. It never wanted me to see it again. So, like I said, not my favorite movie. Actually, role. I thought it was... Actually, uh, do you know what was a great movie De Niro did? And most people don't even know it. The Midnight Run. Yeah, The Midnight Run. That was, that that was, was in 88 like with uh, yeah. Yeah, Charles, Charles Grodin. Grodin. Yep. I, you know, it's a potato dish. And, you know, and I got two words for you. Shut the fuck up! Then, <laughs> Dirty Grandpa, The Bronx Tale. I, I never even heard of the movie. Uh, it came Just out. The uh, Bronx Tale, that was a cartoon. 2016. No, The Bronx Tale wasn't a cartoon. It was a oh, that's when he was the bus driver, right? No, it was... Oh. I think there were people invading New York or something. And no, it, Bronx Tale, he was the bus driver and his kid was in with the gangs. Oh, all right. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah, he was trying to keep his son yeah. out of the gangs. Right. The Untouchables in 1987. With, um, oh, I can't stand him. Yeah, he was oh, in he stinks. Kevin Costner. Mm -hmm. Kevin Costner played Elliot Ness. Ness. <laughs> Elliot Ness and the team surrounds the place. And what did Bob De Niro play? Uh, he played Al Capone. Oh, he did? Get out of my fucking face! Yeah. There really are not a lot of well once again reach, right? In. Once again, he really played aren't. a gangster in The Untouchables. Who'd have ever guessed that? He never does that, <laughs> right? <laughs> He's played in a lot of movies, but. Oh, he's got a fucking A lot of them I've never heard of. I, a lot of them sucked. He sucks. He's a fucking crying old baby. Put your fucking... Pull your depends up and act like a big boy. Mm -hmm. Try to be patriotic, you know what I mean? You're president. He ain't your fucking president, obviously, because you de de denounce him. Yeah, he goes to Canada. I want to, I want to apologize for the president, Mr. Trudeau. That's not your place. It ain't. Shut up. 
Right. Shut up! You want to be diplomatic? Go be an old grandpa somewhere in the park. Yeah. We no, don't do want to what? hear from. Strike up a conversation and hide a while. The fucking the two of them belong together. She's got no range. He's got no range. She's annoying. He's annoying. Right. But he's actually considered <clears throat> one of the greatest actors of our time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Actually, he's, he, you know what? It, just because he's got such a huge portfolio. All right, we're going to go. We're going to say goodbye to the troops. God bless you. God yes. bless you. Hope you make it home safe. Uh, Jeremy, are you going to stay on the air, bro? Yeah, I'll stay on for a minute. I was young. Next week. Uh, catch us tomorrow on um, All In. All in. Goodbye, yes. everybody. 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Join us tomorrow for the raunchiest show on radio. All In. Yes. Good night, folks.